important element of any live production today is a computer. You may want to see a presentation, a web page, or a web video. Now bringing in an external computer's interface is easy with the TriCaster. In this video, we will cover setting up the TriCaster on networks, installing and running IVGA on client computers, using the network inputs for bringing in external computer displays, bringing in the output of new text software like live text, bringing in Apple AirPlay devices, and the output of other new tech hardware like other TriCasters and 3Play systems. Network inputs can also be used with third-party products like Chiron IP to add 2D and 3D broadcast motion graphics to the TriCaster workflow. Step 1 is to make sure that the TriCaster and the external computer are on the same network. If you need to add your TriCaster to a specific network or a specific domain, you will need to go to the administration page where you have access to the Windows networking controls from the network button. The easiest way to connect the laptop to the TriCaster is to just plug in a standard Ethernet cable directly to the laptop and directly to the TriCaster. This will form a network connection between these two systems. You could also take a wireless hub and attach the TriCaster with a wire and then log other computers onto the wireless network. This is how you can use our iDevices with Apple AirPlay. So, for in my situation, I have a network that is both wired and wireless attached to the TriCaster with a cable. I have a Mac and Windows based machines also plugged in with a wire. I have my iPhone and my iPad connected to the same network wirelessly. The TriCaster comes with some client software called iVGA. There is a Windows version and two Mac versions. One for Mac OS 10.5 and earlier and one for Mac OS 10.6 or later. These are available on the TriCaster itself. If you go to the admin page and click on Files on Disk, this will open a Windows Explorer. Then go to C, TriCaster, Extras, IVGA. There you will see the different versions. Now this software is also available on the NewTek registration site for registered owners under the My Downloads section. The online versions may be more up to date than what ships on the TriCaster. Copy these off to a thumb drive and transport them to an external computer. You can run IVGA right from the thumb drive on the external Windows computer without installing anything. You could also drop IVGA on the desktop or into a folder and run it from there. On a Mac, you decompress the zip file and drag IVGA into the Applications folder. You also want to put IVGA on the dock. Now to start IVGA, click on its icon. On the PC, a security warning may appear. You can permanently disable this warning by unchecking the Always Ask before opening this file option. Then click Run. A screen will flash and then a menu will appear. You can choose what TriCaster on the network and which of its network inputs you wish to send your screen to. When the TriCaster operator then selects your feed, you will be prompted on the external computer as to whether or not you want to send your screen out to the TriCaster. There's also a selection for always trust this connection to avoid the confirmation on external computers in the future if you'd like. Once sending, click on its icon to get the IVGA setup requester and stop sending your screen. You can record whatever you send to the TriCaster locally on the external computer as a video screen capture. Here you can activate and select the destination for the recording. Recordings can be saved as AVI, MPEG-2, or QuickTime files. As soon as you click the Save button, the recording begins. To stop the recording, bring up the IVGA panel by clicking on the antenna icon and then press stop. Next, you can pick what you want to record and send. Set to region and you can use the marquee to define an area that you want to send. 
grab the border on the marquee to size it. To position it, use the crosshairs in the center of the marquee. The marquee only indicates what region is visible to the TriCaster. The area outside of the marquee is still functional and you can click on things with the mouse. When set to window, you can use this gadget to select a specific window to send to the TriCaster and to record locally. If the window is resized, the network input updates to show it. Or use the integrated camera to use the webcam on the external computer as a video source sent to the network input. Here you can choose between the primary and, if available, secondary displays to send the entire display to the network input. You can then choose the audio source. When all is configured, hit send. A small antenna icon appears in the icon tray in the lower right corner of the Windows desktop and you can right click on this icon to get some more options. The next menu item on the right click menu is privacy. This prohibits the TriCaster from seeing your screen. Then there is an about box and an exit command which shuts down IVGA. The network inputs in the TriCaster are very versatile, allowing for other types of content to come into the TriCaster. There is an external version of live text which can be purchased separately and runs on Windows-based machines. If this is running and attached to the same network as the TriCaster, you can send its output into the network input with transparency. This means you can create and modify titles and graphics on the fly externally from the TriCaster, but feed it live. Live text allows for full page graphics, overlay graphics, and motion graphics like scrolls and crawls. The external version of live text has a very similar workflow to the internal version discussed in the live text video. The main difference between the internal and external versions of live text is the live output window. It's right here in the external version. This is not in the internal version. It's in the upper right hand corner of the live text interface. Now whatever appears in this window is what's being sent live to the TriCaster across the network. To get something to appear in the window, select the page that you want to send and click on the live button. You can also double click on a page within your project to send it to the live window. Now if live text is currently playing a motion page like a credit roll, that motion must be stopped before the live window can be updated. The external version also includes data link allowing you to update your graphics from an external source. Attach your graphics to a scoreboard system for real time score and time updates. You can connect your graphics to an SQL database or even text files to dynamically update graphics. Even bring in an RSS feed of data from the internet all in real time. All possible with Live Text 2, a great add-on for making a PC an external graphics workstation for any TriCaster. Now the iPad has become an essential part of any presenter's arsenal of tools. But getting content from an iPad or an iPod or an iPhone has not been easy until now. The network inputs in the TriCaster support Apple AirPlay. AirPlay is something that comes with most current iDevices. It is also available in iTunes on a PC or a Mac. To use this with your TriCaster, you will need a wireless network. Again, connect a wireless network to the TriCaster with a wire. Now, log your Apple devices onto the network. Whenever you play pictures or video, you record it on the Apple device, you will see this icon on the Apple device. This icon also appears in many other apps like the YouTube app on your iDevice. Anytime you see this icon, this app supports AirPlay and can be used with the TriCaster. Click it to reveal any Apple AirPlay devices you can send to. If there are multiple TriCasters on the network, they will all show up. A tip to make sure you know which TriCaster you're sending to is make sure you go to the admin mode and give the appliance a unique name. More details on renaming the TriCaster are found in the user guide. 
Also know that this is a scrollable list on the iDevice. Try to push it with your finger. There may be more devices there than you see. Once you select the network input, it will take a few seconds to negotiate the connection, and then your media from the iDevice will be shown in the network input. This technology will send full frame rate video and audio wirelessly across the network. This is like having a DDR in the palm of your hand. This is quite handy if you need a third or fourth DDR. You can even play out of iTunes on a PC and send that across the network to AirPlay inputs. The NewTek 3 Play 425 and 820 systems and some TriCaster systems can all send program output of that system across the network to another TriCaster. If there is another TriCaster or 3 Play system mentioned above connected to the same network as the TriCaster, they can send their output with audio to one of the network inputs of the TriCaster. This would allow you to set up a secondary production area, say an interview area away from the main production area and feed it into the main production. To turn this feature on, go to the output configuration panel. Clicking on the network box will start the output and it can be configured here as to what is going out.